everyone and welcome to another farm tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my melon bone meal farm and also how to convert this into a melon pumpkin farm if you're interested in that. So some of you will recognize this farm from my episodes as I've built it up in my survival world, but in this episode I'm going to be showing you exactly how to build it and it is going to be this new version over here which is actually more efficient than that one over there. I'm going to show you how to build this in a slice so that you can make this farm as big or as small as you want. So the basic mechanics have remained the same. It is a flying machine that brings hopper mine carts along to break melons and or pumpkins. And then when it reaches the other end, it gets fired back and then everything gets sent into hoppers and composters and it gets turned into bone meal. And it is super simple how this works. So these are flying machines. There are iron bars that are hooked up to the hopper minecarts and as they move along it picks up everything that it breaks melon slices and we're using melon slices because it is more efficient than using pumpkins so if you're going to make this a bone meal farm i highly recommend using melons and not pumpkins just because you'll get more bone meal that way but if you want to do a melon and pumpkin farm all you have to do is move these composters and send all of the items into the chest without composting them and then you would want to alternate melon and pumpkins to get the most efficient farm but now you can see it's back everything will drop into the hoppers and it will be converted into bone meal which will all come into here and this works on any scale so here you can see this is an absolutely massive scale if i flip this lever the entire farm goes at once, and that is on a hopper clock to send everything off. So you can make this as big or as small as you like once you know the mechanics of how the farm works. So firstly, the most important thing to note is that you want to build this farm from east to west or west to east in this direction. If you build it in this direction, your hopper minecarts are going to flip the wrong direction, and there's a chance that they pop off of the iron bars. So you don't want to do that. The next thing that you need to basically know is how water sources work for farmland. So each one has a square area around it, four out from its original block. So as you place down the dirt, you want a stair with a water, well, a waterlogged stair in it uh, every eight or so blocks. So as you can see, we have the stair one, two, three, four, and then here we have a stair one, two, three, Four. So every single block, every single farmland is watered. Now you can see that farm over there has just finished and the entire thing is cleared and now more is uh, being formed over there. And then all you need to do is a strip of uh, melon seeds in farmland and it's good to go. So let me... Uh, show you how this flying machine works by setting up a single slice over here. So the first thing that you would do when starting this farm is make the farm as big as you wanted it to be. Each slice of this farm is five wide, so you want to be uh, in intervals of five, and then you can have it as long as you want it to be. I'm just going to make a short-ish one here to showcase this to you, to show you the slices. So just like that, and then uh, you will have a hopper minecart every other block. So you'll want hopper there, hopper there, hopper there. And if you're doing the bone meal version of this, you'll put composters underneath each of those. Then that is where the hopper minecart will sit when it is at its back point. Now we need the flying machine. So you want to come up to and then out across just like that. So you have your, your slice across, and then it is up one with the observer facing off the front, just like that. You'll see over here, this is totally like that. And now you want your sticky piston facing backwards, two slime on that. Come down to the bottom, sticky piston facing forward, another slime in here and an observer facing backwards. And that is the entire flying machine portion of the farm built up. Now we send this off with a note block here. I won't place it there right now because that will send this off before we have the return system in. But that is that completely. You do want some kind of block in behind 
the minecarts here so that they get stuck on their posts. And then we just have to place them in with their iron bars. So the way that you put the minecarts in here so that they're embedded in the iron bar, you want to remove this slime, put a rail down on this hopper, place your hopper minecart there, place an iron bar, and then you need a regular piston facing down above it. And then all you have to do is power that to shoot it in, but make sure that you break the rail first, or you will not be able to push this down and you'll be confused as to why. Now that right there is the most important reason why this goes north to east. If we had done this in a, or east to west, not south to north. If we had done this north to south, you'll see as soon as I break this rail, the minecart flips direction to be east to west, no matter what. So that is why we want to be east to west. So now that that's broken, all we have to do is that, and it is totally in there, and that will be dragged along with the farm, and we just have to place a slime so that it goes along. Now I'll do the other two here, and then we will show you how to do the return system. So now this is what you will be left with. You want to put farmland where the minecarts are not, and then you want to place whichever seed you want on the farmland in between. And then you want to come down to the far end and you want to place a block in front of where each of the minecarts will be coming to. This is to stop the minecart to make sure it doesn't slide off at the end. And then you want to come two up and one back and you want to place an immovable block so two up and one back from the center of the uh, flying machine this will stop the flying machine at this end and make sure it doesn't go off into oblivion and then you want a regular piston facing towards the flying machine this is what is going to send it back now you want to come up one and out two and you want to place a observer facing downwards. This is what is going to spot the flying machine and is going to send it off. So then observer facing down and then a note block, which will be powered. And then you want to face an observer into that note block, note block on the back of that. And then face an observer into that note block. And that is the entire system for sending the flying machine back. So now if we place our note block in on this side, You'll see our flying machine move down, and when it gets to the other end, it is going to fire off that system, and it is going to be sent back. So that is the entire system, and that is how simple it is. The last thing that you want to note is that you do want lighting. So lighting, I have used sea lanterns. You can use torches, anything that you want. But you want a row of these basically in between each of your modules. So your next module would be the exact same thing, but made out of honey. And this is enough lighting to get to here and to the other side. If you're not worried about mobs being in your farm, uh, I, I guess you don't need the lighting. But uh, there is a chance that uh, you have a spider and it like knocks your minecart out. So you do, you do probably want to have this lit up unless there, it's in like a mushroom biome and you don't have a chance of mob spawning. So this is now totally ready to go. Now I will just show you how I have this set up. So the only other thing that isn't over there is you'll want to put composters under the hoppers and send the bone meal to a central chest or remove the composter and just send the bone meal or send your melons and or pumpkins to the chest. And then so what I have done here is just set up redstone so that everything fires one pulse into the note blocks. And I have this set on an ethos hopper clock. So you can look at how this works here. These are sticky pistons right here facing into the center. That's a redstone block, redstone dust block, comparator, comparator. This is just to turn the whole thing off. And then in here, you want two stacks of items. This is what I found to be the most efficient way to send this farm off. And then the only other important thing is that you only want, you only want a single pulse to go into these note blocks. So here I have a, a pulse cutter essentially. So if we flip this back, you'll see this comes across and it's solid, but because this is now powered, the pulse doesn't go through. So this, uh, I'll show you here. Um, you see the pulse goes through for just a second. So it reaches the comparator first, sends a pulse through, and then two ticks later, this 
uh, repeater locks the comparator so that it only gets enough of a pulse to fire the machine once, and then this has to come back across and back over to fire it again. And that is exactly how this farm works. Ensure that you do your slices with slime and then honey. If you don't have honey or you don't have slime, you can do it all with one, but you need to leave a gap uh, in between where you wouldn't have anything uh, so that they don't stick together. But that is totally, you're totally able to do that as well. I like to have a block in between the hoppers minecarts as well, just for further alignment. I don't think that it actually does anything but uh, just to be sure that these don't ever get off of their course but that is how you build up this farm the most important thing to remember is that you can build this farm as big or as small as you like as long as it is within render this is the size that i built up on my single player world but you can build this as big as you want it could be twice the width and twice the length and so Really, you can get as much bone meal an hour or as much melons and pumpkins an hour as you want out of this farm. But thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this farm and this tutorial down in the comments. But again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.